Three Beloved Tales, Rapunzel, Stories Around the World by Kari Meister. Petrosinella, an Italian fairy tale, illustrated by Colleen Madden. Once upon a time in Italy, there lived a woman named Bascadosia. One day, Bascadosia saw a beautiful parsley plant in the garden of her neighbor, the ogress. Oh, how she longed for the parsley. So great was her longing that she crept into the garden and stole some. This went on for days until one day the ogress caught her. Thief! exclaimed the ogress. Now you must pay! Pascadocia tried to make excuses, but the ogress shrugged her shoulders and said, What's up but wind? You must die! Or give me your first child! Poor Pascadocia agreed to give the ogress her child. Some months later, Pascadocia gave birth to a baby girl. She named her Parsley, for she was born with a sprig of parsley on her chest. When Parsley was seven years old, the ogress snatched her away. She locked the girl in a tall tower. Whenever the ogress wanted to see Parsley, she climbed up the girl's long hair. Many years later, a prince appeared. He saw Parsley's hair hanging from the tower window. He called out. When their eyes met, the prince and Parsley fell instantly in love. The prince wanted to climb up, but the visit had to be kept secret. So Parsley slipped the ogress poppy juice. The juice made the ogress fall into a deep sleep. The next morning, as the prince climbed down Parsley's hair, a gossipy friend of the ogress saw him. She told the ogress, who replied, Thank you, but do not fear. It's impossible for Parsley to escape. I have laid a spell upon her. Unless she's holding the three gauntlets that are hidden above the kitchen rafters, the spell cannot be broken. Luckily, Parsley overheard the ogress. That night, when the prince came, she had him climb the rafters and get the gallnuts. Then, holding the gallnuts in her hand, she and the prince climbed down a rope ladder and escaped. The ogress's friends saw them. She hollered and woke the ogress, who quickly chased after Parsley and the prince. Parsley, knowing the gallnuts were magical, threw one at the ground. It turned into a Corsican bulldog. The beast chomped its jaws and leapt at the ogress. But the cunning ogress pulled out a piece of bread and gave it to the dog, which made the dog's anger disappear. Parsley threw the second gallnut. It turned into a lion. The beast shook its mane and opened its jaws wide. But the ogress stripped off the skin of a donkey that was grazing nearby. Wearing the skin, she charged at the lion. The lion, thinking the ogress was an angry donkey, became frightened and ran away. Parsley looked into her hand. She had one gallnut left. She threw it and it turned into a wolf. Seeing the ogress in the donkey skin, the hungry wolf pounced. In a blink, it ate her. At last, Parsley and the prince were free of the ogress. They married and lived happily ever after. Rapunzel, narrated by Miss